What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Otaku A Team podcast. We are here with the usual we themselves, memory, blade, and habit. Say what's up, guys. Yeah. yeah. Woohoo. Right. So, first of all, we want to say thank you for 100 subs and 100 likes in the not the last podcast, mini podcast, but the actual main podcast. We've got 100 likes. So, that means. We got some bad stuff to do next season. <laughs> I'm not, not excited bad. for it. it is bad. <laughs> Shut up! It is bad. About? It's horrible. What are you talking about? <laughs> um, I'm but, so happy. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm so so happy. It's really happy about that. He was really anticipate. Like he's really it's loving most, yeah. the look of this anime. Like really, super lovers. It's, it's going to be his favorite. It's uh, it's going to be his number one on his top list. But anyway, our first topic today is favorite and least favorite thing about anime so we're just going to go in order as always well not always but you know you know what i mean uh so we're going to do our favorite first uh we're going to go in order as our favorite and then do the same thing as our least favorite so starting off with memory your favorite thing about anime i'm not a fucking criminal (laughs) (laughs) the criminal of our group (laughs) all right so my favorite thing about anime probably would have to be that there is something out there for everyone. If you're into anime, there's going to be something. So so there's going to be something there that you like. There's something for everyone, and I mean, that's really all. That's honestly, all. That, yeah. That's it. I, I mean, oh. <laughs> I mean, there's. That, that's there's really all. Huh? I swear, there's something for everyone, and it's very diverse. And I mean, you, you know, have, what, you know, it's also there's something. You have your yaoi, food. you have your yuri. You have, <laughs> Why is it the first topic you start off with? You have your, you have your straight up comedy shows. You have your straight up weird shows. You have all kinds of shows. Wow. <laughs> you, know, you know, also comes in diversity cereal. Cereal also comes in diversity of charm yeah. and frosted flakes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to yeah. become a cereal collector instead, then. <laughs> right, I mean, so since I mean, what is there else to say about cereal? <laughs> what else is there to say about what I said? I mean, is that not true? It, no, it's, it's true. It's true. You can, like, elaborate a little more, but it's fine. It's fine. How can I elaborate on there's something more for everyone? Or there's something for everyone? <laughs> Stupid. <weird. laughs> it's as simple as that. Trust me. Trust me. I can I get into that. Stop being a weep, man. Uh, anyway, so next is habit, since memory is done, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll say pretty much the same thing as memory, except I'll oh, actually, go, in, I'll oh, actually go into it. Into detail. Okay, let's hear them. I like how there's a lot of diversity. I feel like there's a lot of different things that you can watch, and especially with ongoing anime, I feel like there's a lot better things coming on than on TV shows and stuff like that. I agree that. with that, yeah. Because, I, agree with I don't that. know. Teen Titans go, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they ruined they ruin Teen Titans with that. I'm sorry. I will say that every day of the week. Teen Titans used to be amazing. Teen Titans go is Hell funny, yeah. but it's stupid. They ruined it. Now, 90s TV had a lot of stuff that came on, like, Every week, though. But... Johnny Bravo. <laughs> Dexter's Laboratory. Yeah. C- Courage, the cowardly dog. It's Courage! Hmm. All right, let's not get into that. <laughs> we know that was awesome. <laughs> Listen, man. <laughs> didn't we just find out Lilo and Stitch, the, the animation oh, yeah. show, was made by Madhouse? Okay? That's we crazy. could technically find out that, that probably out. Johnny Bravo was made by someone else, too. Yeah, Habit was the one found that Johnny out. Bravo that out. made by Gynax or something. <laughs> <laughs> Production IG was, was the ones who did uh, Sunrise. <laughs> oh, God. There you go. Yeah. I mean, Bones uh, made uh, Corey in the house, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's so quality content. Boku no Corey in the house. <laughs> Gee, oh, boy. That's scary. That actually Ooh. really is a Japanese title. <laughs> no, it's, yeah, no, it's not. Anyways. <laughs> no, it's not. There's no core there. How are you supposed <laughs> to tell me I speak Japanese? No, you do not. Yes, I do. Speak any English. <laughs> no, you do not. <laughs> wow. We keep taking shots at people on these podcasts, man. People are going to hate us. Never, dude. Uh, never? Yeah, okay. I've never done that. 
Right, uh, so are, are you done now, have it, or you got more yeah. to say, or what? Yeah, I'm glad you said you were gonna go into it more, and you didn't. I went into it more. Than <laughs> you did. No, you freaking weeb. No, dude, I went into it more than you I'm did. I'm saying the same thing you're saying, right. but with Let's five just more extra words. Let's just skip straight to Blade. <laughs> All right, uh, you know what? I actually really like in anime. I love the writing in anime. And why? Why did I get like a crash noise when I when I started talking? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Sorry. No, oh, anyways, um, I, I always love the writing in anime because I actually think one of the coolest things about anime is that it's so crazy how they make these worlds up and these characters. And, you know, even when you see a horrible series come out, you know, like, for example, uh, Made Sama, which I still hate. I don't care who likes Made Sama. Um, I like it. I actually, heard of that. <laughs> be glad you never heard of that. I, I always think that, you know, hey, it takes someone and it takes a group of people to make these characters come to life on, on paper, but more so it takes one guy to make these sto- these characters actually live in a world that they've created for them. Like, I mean, you know, um, I just started watching Dimension W, and as weird as Dimension W is, you have to give it credit to a certain degree for just having this kind of interesting concept of, you know... World. Yeah. Right. And one thing also is that the characters are all very unique, the characters all have this little kind of quirkiness to them, but that was someone thinking about that and really yep. putting a lot of detail into them. I mean, like, as a writer myself, I always think that one of the hardest things to do with any story is to make characters first. Because you can make a world. Like, that's not really, per se, that hard. Because you can take a realistic world, like uh, Bacchino has New York, for example, or even um, what, Kekai, what's Sensei. Kekai Sensei, which is New York also. You can yeah. take a world and, you know, just alter it slightly. Go, oh, well, you know, post-apocalyptic world or invaded by aliens so like that but then do you have to actually imply that world with characters yeah and to do that you need to make a whole bunch of characters usually and it's just interesting how like for you know kenkai sensei i i watched the whole thing i know you guys did not finish it I actually did finish it. <laughs> yeah. I, I went no. through that man i went through it i watched the whole thing from beginning to end and i'll tell you it never it never changes from being so confusing but i never was like wow, these characters are stupid. I always thought the characters were the coolest part of that show. Like, that was the only thing keeping me engaged in that show was the writing for the characters. Like, no mm-hmm. one character was a, just a copy of someone else. They all had their quirky weirdness to them. Let me ask so, you a question. Yeah, shoot, shoot. Was the writing for the story there, or did they just leave that out? I, I think the guy got <laughs> drunk. Leave the story for it. Um, <laughs> one too many beers. Because and... that went nowhere. Wait. No, you, know, you, you guys know, don't like, think I, there's I, a story there? It's no, so complex. No. Please. No, uh, no. no that um, story is like the top thrill dragster at Cedar Point. You reach the top of it and just fly off into the no. atmosphere. It's it's <laughs> a beautiful story. No, that's uh, what it's it is. It's a beautiful it's love not. story. Dude, no, it is not. Trust me, love story-wise, at the end, when it actually <laughs> does implement the romance element of it, it's terrible. Like, it doesn't even make sense. But is it him and that ghost girl? What, do you, oh, you want me to spoil it? I could spoil it. No, no. I no, might watch it, 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 it does involve him and the ghost girl, but it, she's not really a ghost. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, okay. She is something though that wow. I, I thought was actually pretty cool when they when they describe what she is. But mm-hmm. I, I that show, like, you know, I know I, I read on forums everywhere that everyone said, "Oh, the last two episodes have the greatest amount of story and, and really pick up." I was like, okay, I was really I was pumped for that story. You know what I got? I got random shit happening again <laughs> in episode eleven. <laughs> Was and it the then, last episode, like, 40-something minutes? or The last hour? episode, 40 minutes. I think it was yeah. 46 minutes. forty Because there actually is stuff after the credits. Oh. And I was left more confused than I was before. Like, they started adding all these things about the world setting and w- uh, why they had the powers. And, oh, my God. It, it wow, was... you're spoiling even more for me, this quality <laughs> oh my God. series. I have, I have you, not said one. Are you going to watch spoiler? Are you going to watch the OVA that's coming out? Yeah. Oh, they're making an OVA for it, too? Yeah, there's an OVA coming out, oh, I guess. Geez. I guess I have to now at this point. Hopefully it actually ends the story. Like, Dude, I don't know how so many people like that show. I, you know what it is? Because it, in many ways, it reminds me of the craziness of Fully Cooley. It really does. Because, I mean, the first, like, it's so 10 wacky. episodes. Yeah, I mean, there's 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 weird stuff that happens even in episode 8 and 9 that I just remember going, what the hell's happening? Like, one of the characters, I'm not going to spoil it per se, but he gets beat up. It's like a, a mushroom alien thing. He gets beat up and... He turns red and like explodes. <laughs> I'm not gonna say what happens exactly, but it's just so goofy. Like, oh, I mean, he eats hamburgers. That's it. that's his concept. He eats hamburgers. 
<laughs> and he like he gets hit by a truck early in the episode and goes, "Hey, I'll forgive you if you give me hamburgers. You can go give me some hamburgers. I'll forgive you." Oh wait, I think I saw that. Did you? Okay, so that was that was episode. I think no, that seven. was episode six. I think six or seven. Or seven. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I saw that. I saw that. But you know, so I, I just weird. I just think overall, though, I I really do. I love I love the characters in, in writing and in, in anime. I think that's it probably one of the best. A... Kekai Sensen has a killer soundtrack, though. It must. Say. Oh, dude, yeah, it gets better toward the end too. Yeah. But, like, with writing, like, what you're saying, like, the the writers have to, like, and the people working on have to take into account, like, their audience and how they're going to, like, present this to a mass amount of people, which I right. think is, like, incredible how, like, because I know damn well I couldn't make an anime or I'll ever make an anime. <laughs> no, I wouldn't yeah. be able to either. Yeah, it's just, like, it's, it's kind of, like, amazing just how, like you said, how they bring all this stuff to life pretty much for tons of people and I, I always tell people like i tell people my, re- my reviews when i say this that you know you might i might not agree with the character i might not agree with the story but that doesn't mean everyone's going to be like that because there's a story for everyone like you guys have mentioned you know there's an anime for everyone but you know that's writers when they write stories for characters and stuff like that they're not really per se trying to make everyone love that character they're trying to make that character be in something it, no like yeah. i mean like have a purpose and, and uh, you know sure. Like, yeah, like bring, I know a lot of bring people like um, purpose to life. Like for example, like we're gonna go kind of out of anime with this, but uh, Walking Dead. You guys have seen Walking Dead? No, yep. I've watched. Okay. Some of it. Remember, remember Lori, the the girl in the first the first uh, couple seasons. Yeah, absolutely uh, hate her. Right. Every but here's the thing: everyone hated her. Everyone. Yeah. That was like a universal thing. Like everyone hated Lori, and even when she went to the conventions, people booed at her. But here's the thing about that: it, it's ironic. If you make a character that hateable. Haven't you done a great job writing a character then? Because you're trying to make a character hated. Yeah. So if they, that if you true. have that much hatred for that character, and you really hate her that much, hey, guess what? He did his job. He made a character that was hateable by everyone, and thus everyone hated her. You know that's, that could be said for a lot of like good villains in anime. Yeah, you could. I mean, like you know, um, I'm trying to like think the, of like the way Meruem in Hunter Hunter was written. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. And his purpose, true. and uh, I, I, I've, I've, I've skipped ahead and looked at some of the stuff great. a little bit because I, I was curious when you guys are talking about it. But yeah, <laughs> that dude's like the best villain in anime. I don't care what anyone says. Yeah, this is my opinion. He's yeah. pretty sick. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I mean, like even if you want to go old school, like Dragon Ball Z uh, or Cowboy Bebop. Everyone man, hated you know, Frieza. Everyone hated Frieza. Everyone Frieza. Everyone hated Cell, but Cell was yeah. Cell was the cool person to hate. Like. I yeah. remember when Cell came out, everyone would Cell was badass, but you right. like hated him. There was <laughs> like, that weird scene with the android and Cell. Oh, where which he sucks android? him up. Yeah. Or eat them. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but you know, like, but, like hey, they this made what? it like seem so like sexual. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure that was not the aim for that. I think you were looking at that a little weird. No, I <laughs> so, don't like, know. Oh, Abbott wow. sitting there as a little kid. <laughs> Oh, well, so is that how that seven. works? <laughs> having sex. Is that yeah, how dude. that works? No, uh, but you know that's. I think yeah, so. that's my that's my thing though. I love about anime. I'm, I'm right. done. <laughs> okay, so I would just say, no, I mean, the characters for me are probably my favorite as well, but also the art style is very very important as well. Like I finished Nagi no Asukara. I think that's how you pronounce it. That art style is beautiful. DA works. One of my favorites. Yeah. It's incredible. I mean, like, you know, the films like Garden of Words and what is it, five centimeters per second or something oh, like that? Oh, God. Five? Yeah. five centimeters per second. Yeah. Ah. The, like, the art style is incredible. Like, it, it's really important that, like, the art style is good. And, it's you know, so, and, like, oh. mind blowing how, yeah. like, it's just how they do that, how it yeah, looks exactly. like that, and how much it's, time and how much, like, effort yeah. it takes to bring that out to people that's what why about Grim, people grimgar's like artwork yeah grimgar's yeah, art style artwork, yeah. is like a, some people have a problem with it like because I it's like, it. what, what would you say the art style is um it's like watercolor reminds me yeah, of yeah watercolor yeah. so like that yeah it, i think it looks absolutely beautiful I to be it. honest yeah. it, the character designs as well are really good in that yeah. that's that's I, one reason why i could never drop the series even if it actually turned out to be bad but yeah you know yeah, i told everyone i told everyone yeah, you, he did. He did tell us. <laughs> he was like, it is going to get good. 
I said it was going to be one of yep. the best of the season. Well, now look. Listen, I thought they were going to fight goblins for the rest of their life in that show. I'm like, <laughs> so, it, it <laughs> seemed like seemed like it was going that route. But at no, least you I kind of cry that there is no goblin queen or king or whatever. <laughs> oh, I know, right? And she was. I was hoping she'd be like really hot. Like, oh, uh, my I God. was hoping. I was hoping we'd be right about that. But Twist, I guess that's not. gonna yeah. be the final episode. The goblin queen <laughs> is gonna save her. <laughs> I'd be weird if she came out of nowhere. That'd be yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm still betting on it. <laughs> yeah, the goblin queen is gonna save Ranta. Oh, I, remember, yeah. I, I remember speaking of the art for Grimgar. I remember when I first watched like the first couple episodes. It didn't hook me right away. Like I like the art, don't get me wrong, wow, but insane. I thought it was so mismatched with the characters. Like you have the artwork of the background being watercolor and beautiful, and then you have characters that they're very nice looking too. But in contrast to the background, it's like, well, wait a second, oh, it, it threw me off a little bit. But then you start it, it watching. It was interesting when I first uh, watched the first episode. I won't lie. Yeah. See. Like going into Grimgar and I going into the winter. Sorry. No, I said you, I you should say you're sorry. <laughs> No, I no. I'll say I'm sorry after you say you're sorry for nothing. There you go. No, I am sorry. I apologize. I, I didn't mean to scream out loud like that. <laughs> no, but like going into Grimgar, going into the winter season, like I was like I like expected it to be good, but I didn't expect it to be like this, this good. Thing. Like yeah, it's how like how good it's been because it's yeah. been like. It's I definitely mean, exceeded my expectations. Like you I could have just it. listened to me, and then you would have known. <laughs> oh, have it. We're sorry. We well, I was listen. like, I was hyped for it from the beginning because, like, it was by, um, it, it gave me, like, SAO kind of feels and, uh, like, Log Horizon a little bit. I'm the all-knowing, yeah. like, when I said yeah, we were going to get 100 likes on our last like, podcast. Just like with the, just like with the, with the premise and, and all that, how they're, like, kind of, they wake up in this fantasy world or wherever they're at and they don't really remember anything. Well, yeah. You know what series I just started? I started Konosuba the other day because oh. uh, someone recommended it. Makes, it yeah, <laughs> yeah, it makes fun of like shows it, like SAO and. Yeah, stuff. it essentially is a slap to the face to anyone who likes, who likes so RPGs good, and stuff like man. that. It's it so is funny. So good. Yeah. But I think I'm the it. only one here who's watched the whole thing through. And you know what's sad? Because it's only 10 episodes, but I'm already on like episode it's, three. And I just yeah, like, yeah. season season two has been announced already. So that's yeah. pretty busy cool. watching Fairy Tale. <laughs> Fairy tale has nice art. I don't care what people say. I like. Yeah. I actually like the art I like of fairy it. tale. Yeah, yeah it does. that's good. And happy, happy is like my favorite character. Which going back into the characters thing. Yeah, go for it. Happy, happy the cat in fairy tale is <laughs> the funniest character <laughs> in anime. I don't even care what anybody <laughs> says in anything. Like, there's this one scene. Like, oh my god, he's he's the funniest character I've ever seen. <laughs> is so good but like you know different characters such as like in one piece i think they have one of the best character like all the characters are insanely good in mm -hmm. one piece like the villains are really freaking good there's only like two characters that i don't like in one piece and that's about it and there's thousands you know yeah and that's, like, that's luffy, luffy is a main character is amazing as well like there's so many main characters that i can name that are just so good and you know, just the characters and art style are my favorite things. So, mm -hmm. Shonen, anyway, you know, Shonen series in general, but not to yeah. cut you off, my friend, but yeah, Shonen yeah. series in general have, I think, some of the best main characters. Like, if you really think about yeah. it, yeah. all their main characters are usually like really loved by people. I just agree. It's probably there. mostly because of the comedy that they have. Though. What? Yeah, Gon, Gon, uh, Naruto, Pilla, Naruto, Edward Elric. I don't know. Naruto's voice is so freaking annoying. <laughs> I couldn't even watch it. I watched two episodes and his voice was so annoying. I just stopped watching it. When he becomes an adult, his voice is less annoying, at least. Thank God. Sexy jutsu. Hey, listen, sexy <laughs> jutsu is the ultimate jutsu. <laughs> oh my God. That's probably oh, how okay. he says it, too. Good impersonation. Yeah, he probably does. Believe you know. it. Believe <laughs> it. Does, I'm yeah. a ninja, ninja, ninja. <laughs> oh, hey. Anyway, before we get off topic, let's just jump Too straight late. into the, our least favorite. So, memory, start us off again. Least favorite, um, I'd probably say how it's like viewed by, uh, like outsiders. outsiders I guess. Yeah, yeah. I, like, cause some of these series and like, uh, the stuff you see on Twitter, like the messed up stuff in anime, you see like series like yeah. Boku no Pico, which a lot of outsiders see. They see like this perverted, <laughs> oh, weird that, stuff. It's, it's the main anime now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They see this. They see this like weird stuff, and they automatically think that all of anime is like 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 that pretty much 
Yeah. Right, so, like, when you see these, like, weird things on Twitter and see these weird pictures and these weird, like, anime things, people automatically, like, oh, this is how all of anime is. It sucks. It's awful. It's perverted. It's for freaking no-life virgins and shit like yeah. that. <laughs> weeb. Very specific. Typical weebs. So, yeah, I would probably say, like, series like the my least favorite thing about an, anime is like the series that are out there that are like terrible Destroying it for everyone else <laughs> yeah and the yeah. way they are the way they're written is, is awful I, I agree with that yeah going I back to that. the favorite thing no it's, some, it's true some are just uh, are written so poorly that it just gives like mars of destruction yeah it gives people bad like first impressions of anime. Mars of Destruction is considered, I think, the worst uh, in, in universal terms, the worst anime ever. And I watched a little bit of it to see why everyone hated so much. And that is, I consider, probably the worst anime ever made. I couldn't even watch yeah, it. Yeah, it has like a negative rating on Mal. Yeah, it, oh, dude, God. it deserves it. It really deserves it. <laughs> no, I, like seriously, don't ever like if you want to keep your sanity or if, if you want to turn someone off from anime, if you want to really make them hate anime, so it's like, you know what? They need to hate anime. Go and make them watch Mars of Destruction. Watch like the first like 30 minutes of it and they will hate anime. It's that bad. Like, when you see like videos, about. when you see videos on the front page of YouTube, like freaking the anime man and Misty Cronexia react to Boku no, Pico, Boku no Pico, that's going to scare people away. Sorry, yeah. but it is. Yeah. No, it does, man. Yeah, Stuff like that. Because you'll find, like, some like an outsider who's not even into anime or any of that stuff at all, they can go on their YouTube homepage and they could see an anime video. Because that's, like, because YouTube shows, like, a vast amount of stuff on their just on their main page, if you guys get what I'm saying. Yeah. No, you I, guys I, I really about. It, it won't only be from your subs uh, from the people you're subscribed to. It Like, you'll get stuff, like, other stuff out there. Yeah. And at one point, if you, like, click on an anime video, then you're going to have other anime videos in your, like, suggested feed thing. The yeah. YouTube you rabbit hole, man. Those. Don't yeah. go down the YouTube rabbit hole. It leads <laughs> to dark places. Yeah. All right, so I guess that's memories done. Habit? Yeah. Um, I'm going to add a little bit on to memories as well, especially with... Of course um, you are. <laughs> Especially just like the last one the, you're the criminal the increased amount of like fan service like a lot of series have like oh, boy. like phantom world for example the unnecessary <laughs> just limbo the whole time thing, yeah the whole thing turned in <laughs> the whole thing turned into just fan service and that's it i feel yeah. like that yeah. definitely turns off a lot of people when they can't just watch a series that it just gets ruined by the increased amount of fan service that's supposed to help the series at some points but when you add that much, much into it i feel like it yeah. just but, deprives it but, but memories yeah. bikini warriors no well like, that's an exception <laughs> i can't think of a specific <laughs> like example off the top of my head but queen's blade for no, example no but I can't think of an exact example off my head. He but said no. <laughs> you can have you can have like a series that has a decent amount of fan service. High school DXD. Um, yeah, uh, to, that's that's to, excessive to still too extent, though. Man, if you think about but it, it's still yeah, it's but it's still actually unhappy. good. Yeah, but it's still very excessive though. Like it it, it uh, might yeah. be very good. I agree yeah, with you, true. but it is very excessive. Like that that's actually nudity. Yeah. There's some nudity to it. Yeah, uh, but I'm high school DXD saying, actually like, has like one of the better stories for a harem series is it even censored <laughs> oh there's no. two versions there's censored version oh, and they're right. also uncensored all right okay all like... uncensored that's how i watch baby <laughs> of course for you sure. <laughs> like what i'm and saying testament of course of... oh like... testament testament of sister new devil is a good example I've, I've of i've actually never seen that uncensored yeah that I've is that, that is very it comes out censored. yeah yeah but I mean, and if the you story can find too... some sort of medium, then it's not as bad, and it doesn't make yeah. us look as bad because then we're reviewing series and helping promote stuff like that for people to see, like you were saying, on their yeah. YouTube feed or on the YouTube yeah. homepage. If people see all this like fan service and tits and asses flying everywhere, they're gonna be like, I don't want to watch this crap, unless you're, you know, 
some people are into that, just straight up etchy everywhere. Yeah, but exactly. that's not a good amount of people, I'd say. A lot of people are turned off by excessive amounts, I'd say. Yeah, I, yeah mean, I agree with that. I'm not the type of person to really want to watch a bunch of anime series with a bunch of fan service in it, so mm -hmm. that's that's just me, and I'm not even, like, a beginner into anime, like somebody who just randomly clicks on a video because they're wondering what that is. There are very select few series out there that do, like, fan service right. Yeah, that's what I was trying to, like, I was trying to think of a specific example, but... I couldn't really think of one off the top of my head, like one like that... prison school. Prison school is good. I never watched good example it, of but... fan service done right. I'm just saying a series that isn't classified as like an etchy or like something like that, but as like Go scenes of that. fan service. <laughs> and we gotta keep in mind that fan service isn't just like boobs and butts. It could be other stuff too. Yeah, like, but you know what it is though. I, like someone memory's actually argued favorite with that. man service. No, but <laughs> oh someone had argued with that on my comments. <laughs> on my comments on one of my uh, ex, because I had to talk about that about fan service and stuff. And what was funny was I, I get the whole concept of fan service also being like having your favorite character show up there or having everyone's yeah. favorite character show up in a scene that he really shouldn't be in. But in the world of anime, it seems like fan service is more so dedicated to solely being boobs. Yeah. Or panty shots. That's what people think of when you say fan service. Right. <laughs> I mean, I feel like panty shots else, is though. one of, like, the biggest types of fan service for the most part. Yeah. For sure. It probably is the biggest. Well, because girls in Japan are allowed to wear and show their legs off, so that's why they wear, like, really short skirts and stuff like that. That's why it's okay. Like, for them, it's normalized in anime. Well, mm. we know where memory's moving now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> but yeah, I'll make that, sure I I bring my keen eyesight, man, so I can measure. I'd have to say that's probably <laughs> my least favorite, though, is uh, too much fan service. Oh right. god! Next is Blade. Okay, so I talked about this recently, and I really do want to talk about this again. Dumb main characters, like people, like harem. I'm gonna name this specifically. Harem main characters are idiots. <laughs> I hate almost. 85% of the main characters in Harem. Oh, that's so annoying, isn't it? Because they're so embarrassing. <laughs> right. It's, you know... <laughs> listen, dude, I, I'm not saying that you're going to be the ladies' man all the time, and I understand some, some actual real people are very dumb when it comes to learning a girl's feelings and stuff like that. But if people are throwing themselves at you in droves, <laughs> you're telling me you're not going to know that that girl likes you or those girls like you? Come on. Yeah, don't be obviously oh, not. Just, she just wants to be my friend. She's just showing me everything yeah, about her body, though. They're always so awkward as well. Like, they all like run away and everything. It's like, mate. I, 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 I can't do this. <laughs> Once again, there's this. a few there's a few select harem leads that are actually like not dense. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know, there, there are a few. Memory does that like... at school, but I mean, Dude, shut usually up. people don't really do that. You don't know about me. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know about me. No, but it, it's, dude, it, like, annoys the crap out of me because, you know, I, I don't hate harems. I always tell people that. I don't hate harems, but when you have a main character who's dumb as crap and oblivious to everything, it annoys me. It really does. Like, Rosario Vampire was a great show, or it was a great manga, excuse me. The manga was great for it. The anime was mad. Because the main character, that's Kune, was an idiot. He yeah. was an idiot. You have three girls going after you, and you're like, uh, nah, nah, uh, I, I always I see hated the one girl. That guy. And, uh, Ichika from Infinite Strauss, like you mentioned, memory. Ichika's the worst. He is Who, the worst. He is probably, yeah, he is probably still one or of the. the school people. days, if that's considered a harem, I don't know. School days can't be considered a harem, yeah. He's an idiot, but you know, but he's at least explained because he's explained as a young, you know, pubescent kind of guy thus he's learning about all this stuff kind of the wrong way so i i forgive him for that retardedness kind of nature mm -hmm. of him but ichika has no excuse like his yeah. character is what i go to right away to say here's a dumb main character right there you just you don't have to do anything you just point him out there he is here's so, my tits what are those not, really <laughs> two people, not three girls not four not what five, are those with like seven girls are constantly after this dude Including the whole school likes him, and he's like, "Oh, they just want to be my friends." Oh my <laughs> oh, god, that no, is bro. no, they don't want to just be your friends. They they want more from you, dude. Other than him, it, I actually like enjoyed Infinite Stratos, honestly. 
No, Anthony Strauss is great. <laughs> besides him, like he ruins that whole thing. If they would have throw him out of the screen, you could have just. Put you say in that anime, and it's freaking amazing. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh man, yeah. You say would have. You say would have rolled that skull. Oh my god. <laughs> that, that full of girls, he would have been. That's you cool would have been old pie dragon everywhere. <laughs> you would have been. You would have been in Boost! heaven, dude. <laughs> Boost. Um. No, but it, it's I, I really I cannot stand a dumb main character. Like even okay, if, if, if we're not going with just a harem route, any show that like like I'm gonna be honest with you, Tokyo Ghoul for the first like seven episodes and all the crap into me. Just oh, because, I didn't I didn't like Kaneki at first because right. all, every episode he it is, seemed like he was crying and just screaming his head off. Dude, right. I don't yeah. even it, think it, it's as bad as how he is in Route A. Dude, he's awful. I hate his character so much. But in the manga, it. he's like supposedly like. It, he's, he's actually Spielberg. Yeah. And the How the anime is, portrays him is like pretty bad. Yeah. Um, Evangelion Shinji, like I, you know, I, it's funny. Oh, I hate the voice him. actor. <laughs> Even the voice <laughs> actor knows that everyone hates Shinji because he's written that way. But it doesn't matter who voices him. Like if you okay, if you, and we'll talk about this later. And like you know, dub versus sub. But uh, what's funny is that he has both English dub audiences hating him and Japanese dub audiences hating him. <laughs> like both of them. Because he just screams and cries every single episode I know. for like at least ten minutes, guaranteed on screen. He's just emotional. No, no, <laughs> emotional is understandable. You can be emotional, dude. Blade like that. No. I just watched the episode where he kisses uh, Asuka. Oh my god, he like <laughs> cried after, right? Yeah, he, and he's he like, his, his arms were turning purple, and his face was turning purple Dude. while he was kissing her. Oh my the god! When the movie, the famous last scene, you're gonna you're gonna laugh at the famous last scene of that movie because it, it's Shinji to a T. It ruins what could have been a great last scene. So yeah, but yeah, main characters when they're dumb, I'm sorry. It just it actually will turn me off from the show. It Not has just before. dumb, just annoying. Like the school days main character. Screw that guy. <laughs> but like I said, worst he's character ever. I don't think he's the worst character ever. Think, uh, he is the worst, worst character. The <laughs> most annoying piece of crap ever. Are we gonna fight? Are we gonna fight that? I'll, I'll come over there. I'll come over there. I'll come over there. I'll be over there, man. I'll be like, hey, man, let's take this outside. <laughs> Feel oh, free, man. Feel free. Nah, uh, nah. So <laughs> my, my, free. Least, my least favorite is bad endings. You know, it could be all good and fun throughout, and then that ending just ruins it. School days, erased. an example. <laughs> erased. <laughs> erased. <laughs> erased, technically, as well, yep. Yeah. I was so, going to say like, that. I just didn't want to be on blast. Like, well, okay, well, what was wrong with the erased opening? You guys thought it was too happy or too good? What do you mean? Like, things, like, things yeah. turned out too good? You mean Is that why the ending's... Or what did I say? You said opening. Opening. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about <laughs> the opening? No, I mean, up, okay, you know what I meant, though. The yeah. the erased ending, what what did you guys, like, hate about it? It was too happy or too right, good? Like, first. First try. things turned out too good? I just think it wasn't that good. The organization of the episode entirely just felt super weird. I mean, the last two episodes, it's like, I don't know. It felt like coming from episode 11, like there's just a whole skip in between, I feel like. Just a weird... Yeah, I can explain that. Trust me. Honestly, as well, the same thing with Irie as well. Like, her purpose in the anime, like, she didn't have one. Like, honestly. Like, she was there for, like, yeah. She should have been in the eleventh episode, like throughout the mm-hmm. entirety of her movie. Yeah, exactly. I'll explain it. I'm gonna explain yeah. it. And like with the like, I was watching like Chibi's review or something of it, and like he was saying, um, oh, what was he saying? I forgot. I've completely forgot what I was about to say now. <laughs> didn't send them an email. Huh? And send them an email. Oh my god! Yeah, I've comp- I've, yeah, I've completely forgot what I was about to say. So. I know, I know he made a review about talking about the purpose of Ari. I, I remember yeah. that. I'm it. trying to remember. If I remember it, I'll, I'll just cut, like go in. Just so. cut me off. Yeah, no, you can cut me off of that. Okay, right, what so, were you going to say, Blade? Oh, so I read the manga, like I told everyone. I read that first. And that's why when, when it ended or was getting close to the end, I'm like, how are they going to make a 12 episode series on mm-hmm. this? Like, I, I, I was confused because the last couple of, like, I want to say the last, I mean, five or six uh, chapters could have been by itself 
three episodes. That's how long and how much more detail was in it. The the big divergence for both the manga and anime was episode 11 because that was like the huge divergence point because they do something completely different from the manga. And I'm not yeah. going to spoil the manga for anyone who wants to read it, but it's a very big difference like of what happens with the killer being revealed and all that and, and how it's revealed. It's way, way different. Uh-huh. But, you know, what I hated about the ending, personally, was it's just too neat. I don't mind a happy ending for a show like that. I actually was happy that, you know, characters got their lives in check and, and got resolved with certain things. But everything worked out just too peachy keen. Like, oh, so now he's doing this. Now she's over here doing this now. What? Yeah. What the it, hell? It did feel, feel kind of weird. For it sure, felt rushed. I'd say. Like, yeah, I it think felt they rushed and it. weird. But, and, like, I didn't really have so much as a problem with the, with the ending. I mean... I, the two main things I really had a problem with was who the hell picked up Sataru out of that river. That's what they yeah. didn't explain that in the anime. I, I was the told. Manga, by the way. I was told what happened in the manga. How, how, so, they really barely explain in the manga. Though, trust so, me. Like, someone told me that. Is it okay if I say it, or should I not? Spoilers, everyone! Just spoilers. Go, just go for it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> at, most people have probably watched the last episode if they. Yeah. Well, yeah, I was told longer. I was told that the police take him out of the river. Yeah. So and not and not Yashiro. Yeah. What you, I got, you know, we see we see Yashiro turn around when Satari yells out, "I know your future," yeah. but I guess Yashiro never did anything there. If, what if was like, that? There was that thing that was at the was it the beginning of the twelfth episode, I think, or it was the beginning of the eleventh episode, but. One of those had had that weird, um, hamster? like hamster thing. Yeah. So that was what, like, that what was I got like from that was it, was it like some sort of like metaphor and him? It's metaphor. It's a metaphor. It's him. trying to say that he's he's doing the constant thinking and then and then he just disappears. Like that's it. It's. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like how they did that thing with the hamster and like the no, spiders. That was really. The, Bad. Well, I I liked how they did that with the in, in, that and the spider's thread or whatever. But oh, I was think, connecting out his head. Yeah, I think they should have went into that more. Like they should have explained Yashiro's character more and why yeah. he like how he like why he does what he does and like all that because they didn't really do that at all. And I heard that was explained in the manga, but it wasn't really at all in the anime, which kind yeah, of yeah. They sucked. like they actually go into his background story in the manga. Yeah, the last, I would have like, loved to see that. The last chapter is dedicated on explaining why he actually was who he because was. Because I heard life. there was stuff that went on with his wife and all this yeah. stuff. Uh, yeah. I mean, they could have made it at least 13 episodes or something. Like, come on now. Exactly. Yeah. I agree with you. Like, yeah, oh, I, I remembered what he said about Irie. It was like, she was just added into the anime just to give Satoru a girl. Like, that's what he said, pretty much. Like, that's yeah. kind of what her purpose was in the anime. Which is kind of disappointing. That sucks because she was an awesome character. Uh, yeah, I agree. thought she is I the best girl. <laughs> yeah, she was, and they just like after what happened in that house, like the burning thing or whatever. She was just like her story's done. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, and then they and then they show her for two seconds at the end, like like yeah. I said, everything's too neat, dude. It, it, you can't have an ending. You know, one of the hardest things to do in anything is to write an ending for, uh, that everyone's gonna appreciate. I get yeah. that. Yeah. But to have it where it seems like a rush job, like I think I'll be honest with you, I think they didn't really know if it was going to be as popular as it was, so they went, let's just do twelve episodes, you know, take the they take the short route out, and let's just kind of change the ending for it, okay? But it's just everything feels rushed and neat. I hate that. Yeah. I hate that in any show. So no do you show. think? Do you think they could maybe do put out an OVA or something for like Yashiro's backstory or something? That would be cool, actually. I wouldn't mind that. Yeah, I was going to say about an OVA, like, as well as Maybe that, do there's that. one of, like, Satru and Irie's future, like, see what happens with them or something, which would be pretty Maybe. cool, I think. Oh, that'd be, dude, that'd be, see, I would actually then forgive the ending if they did that. Yeah, if, if they'd done an OVA on Satru and Irie, that would be incredible. I'd watch that for and sure. one on And one on Yashiro. Yeah, yeah, definitely, for sure. They should definitely, like, I don't know if they've already, probably not. <laughs> But. They have to. They have to. Like they have to be thinking about it though, because I mean, he's he's got like you said, like you said before, he's got such a detailed background story. Like, why yeah. can't you do it? You can do and it. And how yeah. popular it was as well. Yeah. Like, you can't not do something. You can't not elaborate on his backstory and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, if they don't do that, I'll be really surprised if they don't think of doing that. Yeah, we should I, definitely I, go in more depth with it next week. 
Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Because we'll, even though we'll we just about. kind of did. No, we could. Bit. Dude, no, trust. We could talk for. <laughs> yeah. Long but yeah, my my part's pretty much done. Just bad endings, rushed endings, that kind of stuff drives me insane, to be honest. So. Yeah. Let's just get into it. I think the next topic we're going to do, it, we're just going to do a whole discussion. We're not going to go in order. We're just going to talk what we feel like about the situation. And that's sub versus dub. I know everyone's favorite topic. <laughs> so, you know, if you guys just want to go in. I'll, and just, start, I'll, I'll can start I, can off. I just, no, can I just say ahead. one thing real fast? Let me just say one thing. Go ahead. Right. This, this reminds me of last week when we were, you know, talking about the, uh, the, the streaming and all that. Because essentially, it was us against you talking about it per se. Now it's me being the only one I know that's going to defend, defend Dub. I know that. No, I will. No, I don't think so. No, because memory I'm, and habit. I'm on both sides. I like, uh, like, oh, okay. like I'm well. on like both. I'm on both I'm sides. Like, I'm like, yeah. I'm the one-sided person here. Like, I'm the only person that's for subbed only. <laughs> that's good, though. We need one person like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. I think we have a good mix in here because I'm on like both sides and Trav is for sub and Aaron's pretty much... For dub, I'd both. say, right? No, I'm, I'm both, but yeah. the thing is, I do like dub if I can get a whole bunch okay. of dub. Yeah. All right. So, um, sub versus dub. Okay, so with subs, uh, I think you guys know this. I think everyone knows this. I watch a lot of sub anime because, like, what we watch. Anime? Yeah, we watch the ongoing stuff. Right. So, yeah, that's yeah. instantly watching yeah. sub right there. I, I watch a lot of sub anime. I don't, I don't have a problem with sub anime but if there's a dub out there and the dub is good like if i check out the dub and it's good and i actually like it then i'll continue watching it if i'm like okay i'm not really feeling this dub i'm not going to keep watching then i'll go to the sub so i don't really have a problem with either one but if i can find a better dub that i like then i'm going to watch the dub because I like see. with full metal with brotherhood like i started off watching the dub and i was like okay this is really good i'm going to keep watching this dub instead of subbed and that's exactly what i did yeah i think one thing is if we start expanding when i say we i just mean the anime community period is if more people were to watch dub i feel like the whole voice acting behind it would get a lot better the reasoning behind it is not a lot of series have a dub because there's not really a point because most of the time people aren't gonna watch it i mean well, you yeah. could do one as bad as higurashi man like and, you know that's dub why no doesn't one <laughs> dub doesn't have as big of a fan base as like a regular subbed anime because you have all the people in Japan and all that stuff where it actually, I'd say, matters more than in America. So right. you can't yeah. really expect it to be great. It's like but the thing. Sorry. Yeah. No, you can you can go. <laughs> but I was just gonna quickly say, like the thing the thing I like with dubs is like if you find a good one and you're into it, like. You can kind Black of Lagoon. you you can kind of relax, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Black like with Lagoon, the yeah. because you don't have to you don't have to sit there and, and stare at your screen and read the subtitles and, and see what's going on. You could actually like chill out and like you can hear what's going on instead of like reading. And me personally, I hate reading. So <laughs> Yeah. I, mean, I hurt my soul by the way to hear people say that, by the way. If there's a good if there's a good dub out there, I'm I'm going to watch it. Yeah. And, and and not the sub. Yeah, I look at but it there's... this way. If it's if it's a good dub, then I think personally you should watch it, especially because it helps support like things like that. So eventually you will have better dubs. Yeah, but I don't want that though because I like sub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, no. there's there's two sides to it. I mean, it's kind of just yeah. like it's kind of like picking your own genre. It's a personal yeah, exactly, preference. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I mean, it it's really the same with sub and dub. I mean, I like what Funimation is doing. They they usually have like good people on on their dubs. Yeah. Like they usually do an an okay job, I'd say. And then like Dementia W getting on Toonami, that's a good thing because that's that's on their dubbed. Yeah. I haven't heard the dub for it, so I don't know. It's, if it's actually good. really good. Really I really use good. this example yeah. every time I talk about dub, and it's Studio Ghibli. They yeah. right. they use real actors. They use real yeah. actors who act out the part, so it's not like they're just trying to read off of a script. They're no, actually trying tell to you, act though, the character out. I, I always tell you, though, and, and this is something I could combat that with to a point, the one thing that's bad about having real like actors in comparison with voice actors is because real actors, as much as they can convey things, they convey things through movements, you know, to yeah. facial uh, movements and all that like that. You know, voice actors have been trained a lot longer 
and how to convey their voice and put emotion behind something that they say. But when those you are have, Japanese uh, uh, voice actors. Yep. No, no, English, no, no, English voice actors too. Because, like, I watch a lot of the commentary and they talk about a lot of the training they have to go through yeah. in terms of making so they can actually be conveyed and they can go with the lip flaps that you see on the screen and all that. You know, voice actors, not, not voice actors, act, real actors and real actresses, the problem with them is that they are put into a booth that they're really, that's, that's uncomfortable and kind of uncommon for them. Yeah. They are not used to, you know, being in a booth going only by themselves and talking of you know for a character and conveying that feeling into a character there's a lot of times where studio ghibli films they have some great voice acting and you know i mean talent like in terms of who's doing it. like actors like uh in the wind rises like uh i forget his name joseph uh gordon levitt i think his name is he was like looper so. and he was in um inception and all that you had emily blunt those are some great actors and actresses they're Christian awesome Bale. you know about them and everything right Kristen bale stuff like that but the problem of the day is that they sometimes sound a little weird. Like, it, it doesn't always sound good. It, I'm not saying it, does, it doesn't work. I'm just saying it doesn't have that great sound that you sometimes have from really good, well-trained voice actors. I you can have see this what kind you're of... saying, but look, look at the side from Disney. Most of those people aren't voice actors. A lot of them are actresses and stuff like that, or actors. And right. Studio Ghibli is, I mean, pretty much... Disney. I mean, they're partnered with Disney or whatever, so right. I mean, you can compare it to watching a Disney movie. Well, I, I understand where you come from because I mean, they have also they have money. They could they could spend time on teaching people how to talk and do that. But I'm just saying that I, I noticed that you have a really good voice actor versus a good actor, and it's not going to be the same thing. You're going to tell the kind of hesitation moments. You're going to tell where they kind of went too much for a pause or went too much for uh, emphasizing something. Yeah, mm -hmm. you just don't have a those. big, big group of English voice actors for the most part. Uh, but you know what's funny? Yeah, but here's the thing. I, I tell people this. Look at the Japanese voice actors. There's actually not a huge amount either. There's actually a lot of them are the same people. Like, I mean, Kirito uh, in Japanese, is, it voices like, I think, 30 or 40 other characters in yeah, popular those shows. Are in, those are in, like, big things. Look at the smaller things that never even get a dub. If they got a dub, like... Who would voice those dubs because the big voice actors aren't going to yeah, voice you, them you, they're yeah, busy doing what... big things honestly right, i you... don't mind it because like i like like guessing like oh yeah this is the voice actor of you know so and so you know i kind yeah, of like the, you know guessing how like who the voice actor is and you know who 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 else he voice acts or she whatever what the, what the thing that I like about the simul dubs, and I also was scared about it, with, I talked to this last podcast, so I won't go too much detail with this, but, you know, you can have great new voice talent coming out from the woodwork and going, oh, these are going to be some of the great voice actors that you're going to start seeing in big things. But equally, I noticed that sometimes they're not that great. They're okay. Yeah. So it's it's a it's a crapshoot. You're not, you're not going to have that. Even if voice acting later on, on the line gets a certain way, it's, it, could be a, it could be good. It could be very bad. But, I, you know, I guess I guess one thing why I like dubs more, and this is just me personally, is I watch the new stuff, too, so I have to watch sub, and it's not like I don't like sub. I, you know, I, I, I think people misconstrue when you say, oh, I like dub better. That means you don't watch anything that currently is coming out. It's like, no, I watch, I watch like, I'm watching Grimoire yeah. every single episode yeah. of it. I'm watching every single episode. I just watched every single episode of Raced. I do that. But, you know, I, I prefer dub only because it, it's less of a translation barrier. You don't have to worry about certain aspects of yeah, like bad characters subbing. doing certain things, right? Because there are plenty. If you're not yeah. if you're not actually watching a legit site, there are plenty of bad subs. But Absolutely. even then, on some on some of the better ones too, they have sometimes kind of mess subbing. Sometimes, like I, I noticed a few of Funimation's works, they have a few that are slightly off here and there. A lot and I'm not of saying the I know... really old stuff has kind of like wonky subs to them because somebody oh, just yeah. went through and they were like, all right, we just we just have to do this pretty much. So it's uh, not like the... they really took the best time out of uh, like yeah. their day Like the first couple it. episodes of Ajin were pretty bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, they were terrible. But I mean, those yeah. are fan, aren't those fan subs? Yeah, they are fan sub. Yeah. Yeah, there was a. I have a good example. Is um 1998, I think, or seven. Um, Giver, Bio Booster Armor Giver. I, I actually own that series. And what's funny about it is you could actually turn on and off the of course the uh, the English and Japanese dub. Mm -hmm. And what's funny is if you have it on where it's the English one, you'll, he'll say, for example, I'm gonna go assault them and I'm gonna fight them. If you turn it to Japanese, it's like, wait, hold on, we we should maybe not assault them right away. It's like a completely 180. Yeah. 
of what they're saying. Like, wait a second, he, is he attacking him or he's not attacking him? I think yeah, sometimes they change the scripts with dubbed and sub because I feel like I've watched some of like some clips of the Attack on Titan dub, and right. like I've realized that they're saying something completely different from the sub. I'm pretty sure. Like I'm no, sure there's right. some scenes like that. Like it's like yeah, there are. Uh, it's it's weird. The reasoning yeah. behind that I think is because when you're reading a sub, you don't really think about hey, does this sound good like grammar wise? You know, like they yeah. pretty much. Because in the Japanese language, it has a different structure than how yeah, because they talk. say different words in different places as well, don't they? Because like yeah. you'll see like a name at the end, but they'll say the name at the beginning of the sentence yeah. instead. So it's like, Sp- it's like Spanish in many ways. Spanish is the same way in, in a lot of times when you when you oh, talk, right. they have yeah they have stuff that they say beforehand, but it sounds like when you translate it, if you translate directly how it sounds. It'd be like, I like this and that. But it's like, wait, the actual translation is this and that I like. Yeah. It's yeah. backwards, depending on how you translate it. Yeah. yeah. It, so it's unavoidable. It's unavoidable. I think that's the reasoning behind it sounding different some of the times in dubs, because they'll take the time to actually make it sound right. If that yeah. makes also, sense. Also, no, you're absolutely right. But also, some words don't exist in the Japanese language. Like, yep. not every single English word that we have exists in Japanese terms and yeah, vice exactly. versa. Is it because so of their... Because what... I've seen a lot of things, especially in the Japanese language, how, um, like, one thing can mean, like, so many different things. Yeah, so many... And they have so many different words for, di- like, for, for things as well. So you know, like, when they say sorry... In a different way, maybe? A commendasai. Yeah. Commendasai can actually mean... Well, depending on how you change it slightly, can mean, I think... I am sorry. I'm very sorry. I, you know, sorry, and apology or something like that. It, yeah, it has it's like weird five or six that. words. Like one word means like loads of different things. It's kind of yeah. crazy to me. Right. So that's why you know. I, that's why I've never like. I know people always go, "Oh, they changed the tr- they changed the, the the whole thing." And I never really get mad at that as long as it makes sense from a, a logical. You know, if I can understand what they're saying yeah, grammar as wise, because it doesn't sound stupid and <laughs> it doesn't exactly. make any sense. You know, like yeah. Steins Gate, you know, Steins Gate is one of the best examples where they changed a lot of that reference wise. There's a lot of references in Japanese culture and a lot of references that the dub are in English culture. Hmm. And it yeah. has to be that way because yeah. it's the thing is that we don't know, you know, we're not in Japan right now. There might be some of us that have gone there. There might be some of us that lived abroad, whatever. But if you have not, you don't understand every single little part of the culture. So how would you translate that perfectly? To something English wise, you can't. It's impossible. Mm-hmm. You're, you're telling someone to go, you know, you're telling someone like, I'm going to hang out in one of the best spots ever in Japan. People are going to be like, wait, what, what's that spot called? I don't get it. I've never been there. But then you'll see the English one be like, oh, I'm going to hang out at that restaurant. It's like, oh, okay, I've heard of that restaurant before. It's mate, a famous they restaurant. They look so good, though, man. That's I was watching a the... video the other day and you just see like a one piece restaurant and stuff like that. It's like, yes, I want to go there. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I want to go to that Gundam like one. They've they got, yeah, they've got so, so many different easy. things. I'd freak it. If I, if I can learn Japanese, I would probably live there, to be honest, because it just looks so entertaining. You know what's sick? Like, they're, really... they're warm vending machines that dispense warm things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like, like, that's not really surprising, Chris. I mean, you, could, you, you have like stuff like that in America, technically. I mean, you do have bags of milk, so... <laughs> uh... But uh, no, bro, like, <laughs> like how they dispense like hot drinks and stuff like that out of vending machines. Like, like coffee, man. They actually yeah. they actually give like a canned coffee that's yeah. hot. It's like what? You don't that's you don't weird. have that in America, really, or at least I've never really seen it. Yeah, their vending machines are weird because I've seen some vlogs and stuff of people like living in Japan and like they go to the different these different places and their vending machines are so weird. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, another yeah. weird thing is like America versus uh, places in Europe. Like in Europe, you can find like cigarette vending machines. You would never have something like that here. Oh God, you have it here, man. There'd be Cig- like so many underage cigarette smokers, vending man. machines. I have never seen them in my life, and, to be honest. And, <laughs> and Germany, they have a lot of them. Right. Like just yeah. randomly out on the street, and I like. Yeah, I wonder in Germany, who can't you be like? Can't you be like sixteen and smoke in Germany or something? I, I or at no some idea. young age. We are completely off topic. <laughs> <laughs> not, not really. We're still, we're still, you know, it's just the concept. Well, yeah, because we're talking about Germany now. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, okay, we're on topic. We're just slightly Is German dubs. We're slightly derailed. <laughs> it's no, but it's, it could be <laughs> no, German dubs. 
Yeah, series? do you think there is? Do you think there is like different, oh, like yeah, loads of different ones? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I don't think well, a lot of series do it though. I don't they, think have a French, few they have French dubs because uh, Lupin the Third say. had it. Spanish. It's Spanish, French dub. it's Spanish right, dubs. I had to. You have to, you have to, if you say Lupin the Third, you have to do the opening noise. <laughs> Lupin the Third! <laughs> But they have oh its goodness. French dub. It was airing not too long ago. Right. They even do that with like the the English covers of songs. They change up the the Japanese like yeah right the Japanese lyrics. Yeah. Was it, because I saw I saw so many like English covers for the same Japanese song, and their translations will all be different from each other. And did, so it's did, more oh. fluent while singing it probably. Habit, yeah. did you ever, because I know you probably saw this, did you remember, oh, Lee and Lee, did you remember her channel had um, a, a Sword Art Online a video that was making fun of, like, people saying that it wasn't translated correctly? Yeah. And she goes, okay, if I sang it the way it sounds, it and would come it would out like, dumb. going to the space for yeah. fighting truth of the, the heart of something. It was like, wait, what? You can't sing that in a direct translation. It would be yeah. ass backwards she does a really good job of translating her stuff in yeah. songs though she does. Yeah. she does there's some people who are really good with it but yeah. I, like i saw a bunch of different translations for like japanese songs that i just think it's pretty interesting yeah you know, parasite but, has like a million uh, translations for it subs better <laughs> Just got to say that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, like, if, I think it's better because, like, you know, first of all, it comes out first, so you don't have to, like, because there are some people that are dubbed only, so obviously if they're hearing that, you know, these different animes are great, the ones that are coming out, like, airing, they're going to have to wait, like, a, a what is it, a couple sometimes weeks dude, or something like no. that. But it, who like, knows? Sometimes they don't come sometimes out. Yeah. Years, sometimes man. they don't come out. Exactly. Yeah. Like so. Years. That's one other one thing. And personally, I think Japanese voices sound a lot cooler. Like even though I have no idea what they're saying, obviously unless I read it, <laughs> like they sound so much better. Like their voice tones and all that sounds so much better to me. But uh, yeah. And like when people say there's a good dub, everyone knows me. I really could not give a crap. I'm not going to watch the dub. Like, I'm sorry. Yeah, so but people in the comments, doing... stop writing that, by the way. I yeah, saw, like, yeah, yeah. five people in the last comment. Everyone Don't do keeps that saying, much. like, hey, you guys, you like, Jester still needs to watch all of this. And it's like, no, because I'm not going to watch it in dubbed. Because, like, there's no... <laughs> I don't <laughs> like it. Like, I, like to no matter I mean... how people say it's good. Like, you know, everyone says, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, the dubbed is great. I've watched all sub. I, wa I listened to the dub. I can't stand it. I mean, people say it's good. Fair enough. You know, you like that, but I do not see the point. Like, I don't, I don't see the need to watch dubbed, and I don't like it. So, you know, there's, there's really no need to tell yeah. me like, oh, there's a good dub because I'm yeah. not gonna watch it. And I mean, those people that only <laughs> yeah, watch dub, they okay, don't ruthless. Like, they don't <laughs> well, understand. Honest, yeah, I know, I know. I'm just kidding. They don't understand the argument that you make if somebody only watches dub because they're like, what are you talking about? It sounds weird. Like the sub yeah, because they weird. don't have anything to compare it off. Yeah, of. no, or it's because they don't. Whatever the them. first thing you watch, the second thing you watch is probably going to sound weird. Yeah. My, yeah. my advice here's my advice, and this is I know people are gonna say this is weird, but I've done this before. Watch a show, watch a one episode in uh, sub, right? Like if you're gonna review something, for example, watch one episode subbed, then immediately watch that same episode. Don't go into the second episode. Watch the same episode again in dub if they have a dub available for it. It's the best way I think to judge if the dub works you wanna, better which, for it. which route you want to take, right? Yeah. Because no, there's, honestly, uh, I used to do that though. Like I used to like, cause like when I was first getting into it, I started with sub. So like a lot of people say that you get into anime with dub to like a lot of the time, but like that wasn't the I case with me. That. Yeah, no, like, I mean some people say that sub some of the time yeah. people get in it with dub because they can understand it better, stuff like that, you know, because they can't bother to read stuff like that. But I just feel like it's it's just it's just better. It's just yeah. better. <laughs> no, you know, like, listen, dude, you, you have no, you're, you're, because I mean, like, for example, I just, like I said, I bought Higurashi on Blu ray uh, a few weeks ago. I'm so happy about buying that. I watched right. it in English because I wanted to hear the dub for it because I've never heard the dub for it, but I have heard rumors that the dub was terrible for it. So bad that they didn't actually have the dub for the second season. Like, they got rid of it completely. And I watched the first episode, and dude, it is that bad. Like, <laughs> I was listening to it. I'm like, wait, wait, is this a joke? This one, yeah. Oh, this is a joke, right? No, wait, oh my god. And they stay like that for the whole thing. Like, one character goes, oh man, that really sucks. What are we gonna do about that? I'm like, oh, 
But in Japanese, yeah. it's like, oh, no, You're just oh, explaining no. like, it, so It's really... Like, I used to compare the two. Like, I used to start, like, with the dub. Like, I watch a few minutes of the dub, and then I'll just be like, this is terrible. So, like, obviously, after a certain amount of time, I stopped doing that, and now I don't even bother with the dub. Like, I don't care if it's good. I'm not going to watch it. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all I'm I saying. Will, I will say, though, the subs, like... That's naturally like that's the natural way. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's that's exactly it's the, the same natural. Like... It's the natural Japanese voices, and that's how they wanted it to be. Yeah, like... that's that's another reason why I prefer it. Like I prefer watching it how it's traditionally made. You know yeah. how it was right. fully made in terms of like you know I I, don't, I just I just don't have an appeal to watch the the dubbed. You know like if it's made yeah. in Japan, I'm gonna watch it in Japanese. Like if it's made in America. I'll watch it in American. I'm not gonna like go and find like some freaking like Japanese <laughs> dubbed or something, am I? Like, it's just where it's made. I prefer watching it from how it's traditionally made. So yeah, that's so, completely understandable. What would your opinion be if, say, there was a Japanese uh, voice actor, but he also spoke English and he did an oh. English dub to it and a sub to it? Oh. Right. Uh. Well, he because probably be wouldn't be so fluent actor. in English. Wait, what? I don't really know. I, I I can't tell. I can't say the answer of that because I've never witnessed it. <laughs> like I know there's I one know. guy who actually is pretty big for that. I can't think of his name off the top of my head, but he actually does do stuff like that. Does the sub, and then goes and does the dub as well. I will say the only thing really? that I've done with like switching the languages is on League. Because, like, they recently, like, a few months ago, they actually added, like, Japanese voices into it because there's a new Japanese server, I think it is. So, and uh, the voices of that, like, they, they, they've got some of the, a lot of the voice actors from different animes. So, it's like, listening to all of these do all the voice acting for, the for like, my favorite characters in games is awesome to me. Like, really is good. But, mm. yeah, I, I, I put some of the Japanese uh, voice actors into into my client because they sound cooler <laughs> i don't blame you yeah haven't you played a lot of games where you you prefer the japanese dub compared to english like i and there's um there's a, a company that does a lot of the ps3 games called nis or nis yeah uh they have some of the i'm, I'm being honest with you, I, I hate to say that because it's kind of rude but they have some of the worst voice actors sometimes like i right. mean I, sometimes they have some really a grade talent they have some great ones but then they have also like they're really bad grade voice yeah. actors that they will ruin a story if you have it in english they I will ruin it you have like to turn it it's kind of like a new thing i mean obviously there's been games in the past like this but i feel like recently a lot of like jrpg games and things like that will keep the original japanese audio and just put subtitles it's cheaper too though it's cheaper yeah. Yeah. i mean look at the new tales game i mean i'm playing the digimon game and it's even like that Digimon's like that. Uh, Tales, Tales is uh, Zestaria. That's all. That you can switch that back and forth in English and Japanese. Yeah, I, oh, I actually the didn't Japanese know voices in that is awesome. I the Japanese really voices are awesome. All. I actually started that game in like English, and I was like, wait, I must have chose the wrong option or something. Because like, for, to be honest, when I saw the Japanese option, I was like, oh crap, is there going to be subtitles for this? Because I didn't even read it. So I thought like, if I chose that option, I wouldn't even literally understand anything what is going on. Yeah, actually, uh, but then I just changed it later on. It actually asks you almost every single time, do you want to keep the uh, English? Yeah, and I keep, I keep clicking on English for some reason, and I'm like, wait, why am I playing Sor this Sor in this Ray crap? <laughs> sounds terrible in English. Like, don't get me wrong, I feel bad saying that because he's not oh, dude, bad, per se. Like, but I hated it. Like, I was like, can I can I get bad. the Japanese voices, please? Like, honestly, yes. please. <laughs> the, I mean, the, Tales the English... of Hearts, Tales of Hearts R, the one that was Tales on, of Hearts um... R is the one that's is Japanese only. Yep. That's all Japanese. Right. Maybe that's what I was thinking. Yeah, that that Looking one. Looking to the anime, by the way. Tales of Zestiria is gonna be. Ooh, I'm so ha dude. I'm so happy about that. Even yeah, though, even so though, uh, which is one of my popular videos, which I don't know why. Uh, the um, the anime that came with the limited edition of the game. Yeah, I was watched very it. Odd. it. was good. I liked it. It was very odd though. No, because if you, it's good in terms of animation. Like all the animation is solid. It's but like I still a replica of what's going on when you start playing it. So. Yeah, that was very odd to me to have that, but I understand at the same time why I think maybe they want to see if, how people react to an anime. I am so stoked for that anime, oh, man! I'm I so am. happy. I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm mm. gonna be reviewing it when, when it comes, comes out. I'll out. buy. It too. I'm coming. Comes out. I'm gonna buy it too. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Absolutely, mm. I'm a huge Tales fan. Same here, buddy. I've actually bought. I think the last 
every collector's edition that came out, I bought those collector's editions. I bought every single one. Yeah, I mean, so I have one played, like, two I have of pretty them. much all of them. So. I've only played two Tales games, but Zestiria is awesome, and the anime, Zestiria. I'm so excited for it. I love Zestiria. I Zestiria need to was play really through good. Tales of the Abyss. Tales of the Abyss is, has the one of the worst main characters, though, like, you know, he's he's such an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> I just really think I'm going to play it through on the 2DS or 3DS, get that one instead of the PlayStation 2. That one's actually, like, I mean, in terms of the way the, the, way the animation looks is weaker, but it yeah. plays a little bit, surprisingly. My friend said that it plays, like, the mechanics in-game actually play a bit better. Yeah. See? <laughs> we went off topic with that. That we went off topic with. <laughs> yeah, I'm just sitting here like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> what uh, tales? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I saw the anime or some kind of anime was announced tales of for it. What? <laughs> <laughs> tales of W A S D. Are you <laughs> telling me you never played that tales game? Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, any final thoughts on this? Something uh, better uh, that is a. <laughs> I just right. think you should freaking watch whatever the hell you enjoy watching. Yeah, if, you enjoy right. dub, if you enjoy dub, then freaking watch a dub. If you enjoy sub, then enjoy the subs. No, you're Stop wrong, Memory. Arguing. You can Stop only watch arguing. sub. Stop arguing. Dude, shut up. Stop arguing. <laughs> Stop, <laughs> arguing with me. Stop arguing with people about what's better. Like, if you enjoy watching one and someone else enjoys watching one, then who the fuck cares? Yeah, and if someone doesn't want to watch dub, don't tell them to watch dub. Like, it's yeah, simple stop. as that, man. It's annoying. so annoying just to it see, like, hey, you. this dub's good. This dub's also good. Like, I'm not going to watch it. Honestly, stop. <laughs> I swear, though, someone's going to be that kid to comment in the thing and say we're wrong, that you can only watch sub. <laughs> and I swear <laughs> to you, you're yeah, going to get it in the well, comment section it, when I respond to you. <laughs> you're going to get it, buddy. Habit usually replies to every comment. You're so. going to regret it. I think it's so Habit and Blade that comment, like, reply to yeah, most man. comments. You're gonna I get read lit them, up but I don't really reply. Sorry. <laughs> hey, listen, I, I have, you, you must reply. You must do it. Oh, I, I, I reply to, I to some. I reply yeah, to I, some. I, 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 I've, seen you, I've seen you reply to a bunch of them. Hey. I reply no, to, like, 90% of them, probably. I replied to all of them that like mentioned either one of us or something. Like that. I never, I never reply to them because by the time I do want to reply, it's already been, you know, I think replied on the to. First one. You can still reply to him, man. <laughs> no, dude. Like, sometimes like, you just, just can't reply to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I, I, I that I one comment. Down. That one comment I got in my video yesterday. Like I like, literally, I just scroll down on the comments, and everyone's writing paragraphs. Like I don't have time to read all of this. Come on now. Like I, like I appreciate it. Like honestly, I do appreciate that you're taking the time to you know go over what we've said and like give your input as well. But I, I personally do not read read all of it. Like I scan through it, yeah. but like I don't have time to read the whole thing. Like there's like three pages of it. <laughs> I can't remember if it was the first podcast or the introduction one. Someone made a comment and they were like, "This is a cool video." And it's like <laughs> it was something like that. It was something towards that extent, and I was like, "How do I respond to this?" <laughs> like you literally didn't exactly. watch the video or do anything. <laughs> Uh, I, I hate that man like yeah when I, you see I, people comment on an hour long video in the first five minutes you're like oh yeah interesting <laughs> i'll freaking murder just... somebody if i see in the comment section wow this video is cool <laughs> <laughs> so oh so are we gonna actually put a challenge to to, to do anything with like 100 yeah. likes or anything like that 75 uh, likes and we'll review free 200 likes and we all get super lovers body pillows and no 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 don't be saying any of that 75 likes 75 likes for a spoiler cast on free no please no man no no not doing it 75 likes i'll do a spoiler cast on freaking hunter hunter how about that no, oh, that, that was really oh, wait, Blake still has to finish it. Yeah, so it's not going to finish it. Yeah. Come on, Blade. Why? Just all, of you, all of you just watch Nagi no Asukara, and then we'll do a spoiler cast on that. I mean, why not? <laughs> yep. I, I don't even know what that is, though. Mate, you got to watch super... It's amazing. I put it as my fourth favorite of all time, so that's saying something. That's not telling what it is, though. It's just saying it's your no, first man, favorite. Go on, Mao, man. That's what Mao's created for, man. 
I got you know, time. You know what we should do in the next podcast? <laughs> we should talk about now ratings. That's what we should I, do. Yeah, I we... want to do that so bad because I want to talk about how. Now that you bring up pick... Mal, we yeah. we definitely need to Bye. talk. About let that. us let us know in the comments. If a you six want is a good. Listen, yeah, and leave listen, a six uh, like not always. a good. Yes, leave a like. <laughs> <laughs> but is it follow on SoundCloud or subscribe? I don't know what it is uh, on SoundCloud. Probably like follow. Is it follow? Or yeah, it's follow. follow us on SoundCloud. Follow us on Twitter. Subscribe if you want to. And uh, that's pretty much what it. Topics in the comments section. Yep. Yeah, yeah, we put topics. Topics in the more topics. We can use some more. Trust me. We will be running and, uh, dangerously well. Yeah. Uh, so thanks for watching. And we'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Peace. Bye. Peace. Bikini Warriors. Bikini Warriors. Bikini Warriors. Bikini. Oh my.